how to turn this into this but we're gonna start with this and let's effing go so what are we doing today a lot of you asked me about my last video how to turn the z score using chat gpt to make money using crypto scripts but how to actually install also all this will be super nice so all you have to do is sell bitcoin here buy bitcoin here this is actually ethereum which is even better sell ethereum here buy ethereum here and buy ethereum here and sell ethereum here and make tons and tons of money hopefully so let's get started the z score let's go to our chat gpt and ask him first hi i just copy all this uh basically uh indicator all the code that he made not he she eat i don't know the robot the ai made this code i put it i got a, a couple of uh, people asking me how do i actually do it uh, please do the instructions because I played with the settings. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, but so I told them, hey, tell me about this code. I just started now and it did. So let's understand what is the Z-score because it's very important to trade with statistics and numbers and mathematics. Okay, not just based on hype. So the Z-score is a statistical measure that can be used to evaluate whether a financial instrument current price is typical or unusual relative to its past performance. Okay, that's the key. It's calculated by subtracting the trolling mean, the rolling mean of instrument closing price over a given look back period, specific by the length from the current closing price, and then divide the results by the rolling standard deviation of closing price. Okay, the result value called Z score can be used to gouge how many standard deviation the current closing price is from the mean okay that's why we put free and free this is super super extreme levels to go buy and short if bitcoin ethereum whatever goes over free or negative free in the script you provided there we go the z score is plotted on the chart in blue and a black line is plotted at the zero level to serve as a reference that's the original default uh, settings the script also include the code to plot red and green circles on the chart whenever the z-score goes above or below free standard deviation respectively the circle these circles can serve as visual alerts for traders to indicate periods when the financial instruments price is unusually high or low relative to its past performance the study function at the end is used to add a label to the chart that is uh, this score indicator this label can be helpful to identify uh, okay can you put this in a copy paste so we can make money with chat gpt and crypto trading that's what we're doing can you put this code in a copy paste mode certainly here's the code you provided for mutton easy copying and pasting click here copy code that's this thing is freaking amazing a lot of people will make a lot of money. You gotta think how to make money with ChatGPT. I have so many ideas, it, it's insane. Copy the code and let's get started. Okay, we're gonna go here. Uh, let's run. You need a trading view account, link in the description. Yes, I'm an affiliate. We're gonna put this code in uh, and step three, if you do wanna trade, uh, GMX 10% of trading fees on Arbitrum and Avalanche also link in the description open a new chart just click on the plus okay is this a big enough uh, to see yes open uh, in here uh, add uh, bitcoin let's start with bitcoin we're gonna go to ethereum after that uh, and then there's a clean chart you have nothing on it uh, just a basic chart i don't know if this is the default for you as well this is the, the default for me probably i set it up Either way, this is what you need to do. I'm going to remove uh, this a little. You're going to click uh, Pine Script, Pine Editor. Okay, step one. Uh, after you, Step two, after you got a uh, Bitcoin chart, click Pine Editor. Very important. Then click on this uh, circle to say, that says Maximize Panel. Okay, let's maximize the panel right here. And this is basically the code. Uh, but it's not here okay so i just copy pasted but just so you know you copy paste 
and then uh, there you go this code will be either I don't think I can put it in the description of YouTube but it will be in the uh, what's it called all the questions all the questions and answered all the comments all the comments of the video I will put this as a pinned uh, comment uh, as the end trading view and uh, GMX okay so check for the pin comment copy paste okay in the pine script once this is done you're gonna click add to chart okay very important add to chart don't save at least not now just to understand what's going on click add to chart and voila we got this crazy thing and a lot of you ask me what is this what do I do here how do I make money okay so that's the key this is just the raw uh, settings we are gonna fix that that's the key let's fix it okay so first of all I'm gonna click uh, just click uh, double click on it doesn't matter where and the z-score indicator opens up uh, the setting for us uh, we're gonna do first um, I like to trade the one hour chart uh, you can do the the daily the 15 minutes five minutes whatever that you do uh, it's up to you okay I just put the one hour chart you can change it as well and I'm gonna change uh, the 100 that's the default to 168 why so the z score will calculate the last uh, seven days every day is 24 hours times seven uh, 168 if you're doing days I would change it to 14 okay and if you do I don't know 15 minutes it's probably like 500 or a thousand or something you need to calculate something like that so I'm just gonna go for the last uh, seven days which is uh, 168 if I would go longer that's a different story that that works for me at least in this indicator style go to style that's the most important key so plot uh this is what we need okay plot one that's the that's the that's the that's the coin coin stock whatever that you want to do that's the line itself what are we doing with this i just like to change the color whatever that you want i'm gonna change the color uh let's say because it's bitcoin i'm gonna change it to orange I'm gonna change this to like a hundred percent I'm gonna change this to this color okay so now I know Bitcoin I can change the the color if I want to doesn't matter it's up to you plot this is the zero line so now I can even get more uh, better uh, at this so maybe I can sell half when it reaches zero instead of just uh, go from minus three to plus three and vice versa so the plot number two uh, I'm gonna change this to a white line I'm gonna do this one I'm gonna do this and that's basically the zero line what does it mean that the, that basically uh, Bitcoin trades where it needs to trade okay before we go to the next two just gonna show you how it looks now so now you see the number here negative 152 uh, so we are negative 1.52 percent uh, from the the mean and the mean is right here at zero uh, so uh, Bitcoin needs to go a little up to zero, but there's no alerts because we are not at uh, free, uh, negative free or positive free. Now I want all this to be here and I also want to change the settings a little bit. So I'm going to click again and let's change this. So basically it's going to tell us uh, shapes and shapes. I'm going to do, I'm going to change uh, this one red. I'm going to get a red signal. I'm just going to do this 100%. Uh, change the color. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you. Uh, yeah, what's a strong red? Okay. Is this a strong red? Is this Okay, let's call it this strong red. This is like brown. <laughs> let's say that this one is a strong red. And this one is basically a strong green. Okay. Let me see yeah and now now you need to change uh, so what are we doing here this is very important if you want to to sell when it reaches a uh, plus uh, three uh, this is what we do we want this on the top of the chart okay that's important now if you want to buy when it's green uh, just like uh, this one okay just like this one if you click here you see I changed the colors I removed the zero but now I'm gonna add the zero uh, this one is top this one is bottom and I changed this one as well so we're gonna go back to our chart uh, this one is top change the, the green to bottom so now every time there's 
a negative three it would give me a green and then this is just uh, basically you can just pick you can do up or down i just picked a square see you, you change it here uh let's say a uh, down arrow that's not really nice uh circle okay the, the the default is circle i don't know diamond uh, flag label down uh but let it, uh, the, the square whatever it is uh I, I like the square or triangle down uh, whatever choice that you want it's not a big deal as long as you know that hey this is a good time to short the 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 not the market but the the coin basically and same here shape uh the bottom i'm gonna change this one to a uh, square okay so we have the plot itself we have the zero line uh we have the top and then we change this to bottom click ok and this should work now but i want this to be on the chart itself but let's see how it's uh, nice right here let's see where the one of uh, the green ones it doesn't give me the green in here it does give me the green in here okay uh, very nice you get uh, green at 15600 so let's try and put this on the chart itself okay so this is the settings beautiful stuff uh let's uh let's see here how do i you just put your fingers in here sometime like that grab your mouse and some and that's it just grab the mouse and voila voila we got all the settings so what do we have basically uh you see here the standard deviation was four four ten or something like this this was december 13 a few days ago and they told us to go short now what we can do now that i added the zero line basically you go short and then uh, you still short in here i hope you didn't I, probably if you use uh, less leverage you didn't get liquidated from i don't know 18 200 to 18 350 you're probably still in the game and eventually it went down and maybe close uh, half because it reached the zero line or close the whole position that's up to you not a financial advice it's your trading do what you want Seventeen thousand eighty. uh it's the zero line you could have closed and either close half or just wait for another signal there's no signal to buy uh bitcoin in here let's see another uh option here let's see what's the other one okay so we got another uh, another one uh here this was over free and then it gave us it doesn't give us the exact top or bottom to sell which is fine uh but he plotted here a sell signal at 17,200 this was uh november 30 like almost uh, three weeks ago sell and it's still around 17,200 uh, a couple of hours later and eventually it went down 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 and you can just uh, close the trade in here at 17,000 and wait for another one that's pretty awesome stuff uh what if i go even longer okay so let's uh, see this one this is a nice one uh negative three you see negative three and we got a buy signal uh when bitcoin was around here at 15900 15900 and another buy signal like double down at 15650 and you got all this move and you close the trade you made a thousand uh, points close the trade or close half at the zero line at 16500 that's freaking awesome that's actually freaking awesome uh i really like that let's change this one to ethereum okay it uh binance it usdt same thing let's see what we got uh let, let's go back i want to see i'm going back to uh, i don't know uh, month two months something like that okay this is a good one so we got uh basically uh go long in here so this if you're still in the game so we could have lost in this trade okay i'm not looking for 100 percent. i'm looking to be better than i don't know 50 something and make uh, good money with a combination of indicators <clears throat> so we got here at 1450 it told us to go long and uh, actually uh it did went long but eventually it dropped so we could have lost but uh we could we could have got liquidated okay there's no shame in getting liquidated uh but if you trade long enough hopefully you make smart decision and here again negative 346 you go long in here and basically you either start the long in here at 1230 
or uh, 1180 something like that and long 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 1130 if you still if you have low leverage like uh, I don't know whatever it is eventually if you survive the massacre you go long at 1130 1150 and you make uh, the trade all the way it's still not at the zero line did it go to the zero line not yet not yet maybe here and close at 1300 okay so you could have closed at 1300 let's see another one uh here you go uh basically long at 1100 again 1130 okay so 1130 went down a little to 1110 and then went down to 1080 and then it just went up and up and up to 1200 that's a great trade assuming you don't do like a 100x leverage 50x gmx goes all the way to 50 you gotta be uh safe when you trade and another trade in here we got a giant uh, dump this was a great one 1280 uh short uh still here now it's uh 1310 so from 1280 to 1310 your PL is a little negative on the leverage side, but if you're still in the game, you're still 1310, you're still here, and eventually you cut the move all the way. Let's say you close at the 1267 or close half. And here, this is the last signal that, uh, no, that's bef is this the last signal? Let's see. We got another buy at 1227, all the way up. Uh, yeah, the, and the zero is 1275 beautiful trade here's a short uh, 1335 a great short right here and the worst that you had is like 15 points lost to 15 1350 and you can close the trade from 1335 to 1240 or something like that and here we are again 1180 it telling us long 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 this is the last trade from a few days ago go long from around 11.75 uh, if you're still in the game at 11.60 and we are now at 11.80 so about the same levels but we are still where are we now with the uh, this score is 2.5 negative see we're still negative 2.5 this is needs to go up can it go